Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video today. The biggest update ever in Grotope. Oh, no, wait. When this video gets uploaded, it's already yesterday because this video gets uploaded a day late. Fuck. Um... Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Yesterday, the biggest update in Grotopia ever, I think. I'm actually not sure, but it's a big update, okay? It's a big, it's a fucking big update, okay? Yeah, as you can see in the news here, we got Raptor Legs, Super Pineapple Party, Summer Season Events. Okay, let's just take a look. Summer is finally here. Get your cool shades and tanning oil ready because it's time to celebrate the season with our hot hot june update and okay before i'm going to read everything this is why i think this is one of the biggest updates ever look at the fucking news how long it is it's insane i think the news has never been this long anyways let's just take a look at it all because i haven't read it yet pineapple party has rolled up spliced unspliceable grow the pineapples and eat them can't eat more don't worry there will always be someone to throw another one at you yeah that's true that happens with the pineapple event you finally ate enough pineapples to get into the pineapple body or whatever it's called and then some ass throws like 20 pineapples at you and you can start all over again anyway so that means that the pineapple party has started then we got new seasonal events have landed with our first four month extravaganza summer clash help out grow tech during their weekly anomaly hunts earn seasonal tokens to unlock rewards and work with your guild for even more prizes go your own way with our milestone prizes or battle it out for leaderboard fame either way prepare yourselves for fun. Check out the forum for more details. Multiple rewards trees are available and you'll have to participate in events as much as you can over the four months of the summer season in order to unlock all the prizes. Note that the ultimate reward of the season won't be tradable, but don't worry. It will be something quite unique. Item of the month. Ever wondered about what it's like to be in someone else's shoes? What about a dinosaur? Okay, yeah, the item of the month right now is like dinosaur legs or something. Raptor legs. I don't know. We'll get into that later. Scan a little longer because we revised the Grow Scan 9000 functionality to make it closer to its original intent. We have decided to leave it in the store for two more days to allow any of you who were hoping for that feature to get it. We didn't think it would be fair to make it better right after it cycled out of the store. So now is your last chance to get one. And then we got make sure to share your best pineapple moments with us. Don't forget to... No, 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 no. We're not going to plug the Grotopia channel. No, 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 no. They aren't paying me for that, so we're not doing it, okay? Grotopia, if you're seeing this, I want to have 5,000 euros on my bank account. Otherwise, no deal. <laughs> Just kidding, Grotopia support. Please love me and don't ban me, okay? Anyways, guys, as you guys could have seen, there is so much new shit right now in the game. But I first want to get into the Grow Scan update because they changed it a little bit or something like that. And I'm actually pretty curious. I have one in my storage world over here. So let's take a look at it. Um, floating items. This machine is scanning. Okay, let's also immediately start scanning the world blocks. Okay, we'll have to wait for a while right now. Okay, let's take a look. It's probably loaded right now. Uh, what changed? Oh, they still have the gem count in it, so gems are still tradable for some reason. I thought they were going to nerf it, but no. Uh, did anything change at all? Search clothing. Yo! This is literally what I said in my video about the gross... Wait, can we get a flashback to that video, okay? I literally said, I thought you can see all the items that you have in your world. And they changed it. I don't know if the Grotopia support watches my videos. If you guys do, uh, 5,000 euros and I'll, uh, I'll promote your YouTube channel. Okay? 5,000. Thank you. Just kidding, okay? Just kidding. But if you are interested, please let me know. Okay, so I'm actually really fucking curious what's in this world. Because, well, this is my storage world. I always drop all my random shit in this world. I have no idea what's in here. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of diamond locks worth of items in here. So, we're going to take a look at that, okay? Floating items. Let's start off with the clothings. Okay, first of all, we got angel wings somewhere in this world. Wait, now you can also click it. Yo, you can... This is so great. You can literally click it and see where the items are. This is the best way to manage your storage worlds ever. Okay, let's take a look. Look if we have more expensive items in here. Angel wings, like I already said. We got one black saber. Okay, we got a pair of bubble wings. That's that's pretty expensive, I think. A chicken leash. I already knew that, actually. But a, a chicken leash in my world? Okay, okay. Then we got a cloak of falling water somewhere in here. That's like one of the old item of the months. That's also pretty cool, I guess. 48 green grow sabers. I remember that. I wanted to make a video about crushing grow sabers in a clothing compactor. So I bought a shitload of grow sabers, but I've never done it. Then we got a half a of sorrow somewhere in here okay inside out devils dude i'm actually richer than i expected okay next page um anything good 
anything good in here? Uh, a, a bat frog. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Bat frog. Rainbow wings. Also pretty nice. Gay fish leash. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I still have that. And my riding axolotl, I also still have that. This is actually so much fun looking at all the items that you have in your world. Look at all these super logos. Holy shit. This page is almost only super items. Look at super, 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 super. That's actually pretty funny because I can just save up all that shit and just after a while look at how much superhero items I have. Okay, I think this is the last page. 386 items in this world. And that's only the clothing, okay? Next, consumables. We got one balanced mooncake, all right? We got three celestial dusts. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys what I have in the world. I'm not going to read everything. Two lucky clovers, actually. That's also pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty fucking nice. Okay, let's take a look at the blocks and backgrounds right now. 400. Okay, I'm not going to take a look at all of them. Yo! Atomic fireball, that's also pretty expensive, I think. And three autoclaves? Damn, boy. Okay, well, as you guys can see, there's a whole bunch of shit in my world. I can go through the pages pretty quickly, because blocks are normally not the expensive items. Most of the blocks aren't that expensive. But wait, how many hula dancers did I have? 40 hula bubble heads? Holy shit. <laughs> 40 hula bubble heads. Okay, uh, I don't know how I got that. But uh, pretty nice that I got it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty nice. Oh, a summer surprise is also seen as a block. Okay, I also have one of those. Look at all these superpower cards. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. And all the film portraits over here. I got 10 film portraits from the Harvester. 8 from Dragon Hand. Oh, also weather machines are in here too. Okay, that's also pretty useful. And jammers. Okay, this was all. Let's go back. Uh, search seeds. I have a shitload of seeds in my world, I already know that. 700 blue block seeds. 146 chicken seeds? Why do I have so many chicken seeds? Can anyone tell me that? I only have 600 dirt seeds. I expected way more. Oh, wait. I accidentally clicked on back. Oh, well, we don't care about the seeds anyways. Let's go to the locks. Two builder locks. Okay, pretty nice. Um, Yeah, I don't really care about the locks. And then we have search others. What is others? 74 others. Okay. A lot of command blocks. A lot of DNA. Yeah, this is basically all the other items that we haven't seen yet. Funny thing is, I only have one wheel in my world, but that wheel is 148 LB. So, it automatically says that I have 148 wheels, but no. Okay, no. We can also take a look at the blocks real quick, by the way. Holy shit, it says how many you have in the world. 2,500 dirts, everybody. That's just great. Search untradeable. No results found. Search backgrounds. Almost 3,000 cave backgrounds. Okay, guys, I'm in my main world right now. Let's take a look. Floating items, let it scan. And roadblocks, also let that scan. Wait, what did it say? Oh, it also gives you the percentage of scanning. That's pretty dope. Ah, this one is already done. Okay, search clothing. Nice. So much clothing, everybody. Hand me an applause, okay? I deserve that for all those clothings in my world. Okay, then we got consumables. Again. Great. Hella consumables in my world, everybody. Hella consumables. Then we got blocks and backgrounds. Yeah, also not really that much. I think seeds is going to be a lot because I dropped a shit ton of seeds. Nah, they are a lot of seeds, but not that many different seeds. I got hella seeds, boy. Okay, uh, locks. Okay, we have one royal lock. Others? Do I have others? Yeah. The essences, the gems, and the mysterious chemicals. All right, next up, all the blocks that I placed in this world. Search blocks. Yeah, let's take a look. Anvil one, awkward unicorn 101. How is a dinosaur mask a block? Oh, is that because I have a dinosaur mask in a display block? I think that's pretty glitched out because dinosaur masks is clothing, but it's placed in my world because it's in a display block. So I don't know. That's pretty weird, but I guess that's how it works. And I got a legendary wizard in my world, everybody. Uh, let's take a look what we have here. Yeah, I'm not really that much. <laughs> Look at all those weather machines, everybody. Look at all those fucking weather machines. Okay, then we got backgrounds. Uh, not really that much. 800 black backgrounds, though. But yeah, uh, that's kind of expected because I got a shitload of black backgrounds in my world. Untradeables. Nice. Very nice. Okay, guys, I've talked enough about the grow scan. I love this update with the grow scan, okay? It makes it so much more useful. If I were you guys, I might do it myself too. Invest in grow scans, okay? I think they're going to be the new mech plants because grow scans are so useful right now. You can use them to buy and sell gems. You can use them for your storage worlds. I think they are really gonna go up in price after they are out of the store. So 
yeah, if you want some advice from Papa Terry about investing your world locks, I think Rose Cans is the way to go right now. I think I might buy like 20 of them. I don't know yet. Anyways, there is so much to talk about right now and so much to show you guys. I don't even know what's all new right now, but this huge update is probably going to be spreaded in several videos because if I were to talk about everything in one video, yeah, well, this video would be one hour long, okay? Anyways, let's take a look in the store real quick if there are any new items. Um, new growth token items. No Nope. What's this? Pristine hammer built to exacting specifications by Grotech engineers to find and remove temporal anomalies from inflicted blocks. And with even more power than delicate versions. What is this shit? Uh, I'm, I'm going to buy one, I guess. Um, does it have a punching effect? Uh, no, I don't get it. Built to exacting specifications by Grotech engineers to find and remove temporal anomalies from the inflicted blocks. Note the fragile anomaly seeking circuitry in these devices is prone to failure and may break though with less of a chance than a delicate version use with care what is this shit can i break blocks with it nice i actually have no idea what this item is for i think it has something to do with the guilty fans because they're coming back right now but i honestly don't know let's take a look at guilty fans oh my guild is actually doing great Grotech found anomalies in our blocks rules earn points by hitting things with Grotech's special anomalizing hammers oh wait personal contribution 600 wait did i get 600 by just breaking dirt with this i'm going to break some more dirt yo i got 2400 right now okay my guild is actually doing great look at that my my guild is place 43. Guild event rewards. You also have that right now. Claim reward, claim reward, claim. Holy shit. I can claim so much rewards. Holy shit, guys. What is this? Earn rewards with your guild by participating in weekly events. The points you and your guildmates earn by helping Grotech will unlock the milestones below. A new set of goals and rewards will appear each week. And progress does not carry over between events. Okay, wait. How is my guild doing? Personal event reward. Oh, you also have personal rewards? Yo, this is so cool, guys. What do you get if your guild wins? Um, if your guild gets the last reward. Oh, you basically get Summer Emperor reward, Summer King reward, Noble reward, Knight reward, and Squire reward. Holy shit, guys. I have no idea what these new items are. This is fucking dope, guys. This is probably one of the best updates so far. Anyways, I want to see in the event leaderboards how my guild members are doing. Let's take a look. Personal blah, blah, blah. Personal event leaderboard rewards. What's this? Huh? Oh, this is if you get first place. Okay. And what happens if your guild gets first place? Weather machine guild. <gasps> Holy shit. A new weather machine. And there will be only one in the game after this first guild defense. Okay, guild member contribution. How is everyone doing? One million? Wait, do you get more points if you break different blocks? Let's break a higher rarity block. Uh, roulette wheel. Sure. I think I had 2,400 points. Let's take a look how much I have right now. 8,400. Yeah, you definitely get more XP by breaking higher rarity items. Does it also work on trees? No, it doesn't work on trees. It only works on breaking blocks. But these sorcerer stones are probably the highest rarity blocks that I have right now. Let's see how much XP you get from that, okay? Let's just break a few real quick. Huh? Your anomalizing hammer has broken. Oh, it already said something about that in the info. That it's really delicate and that it's going to break. Okay, let's see how much XP I gained from that. 15,000. Okay. Do I get a reward from that? Five summer tokens, everybody. Five summer tokens. I need to get 10 million points before I can get the summer champion reward. I'm going to buy more hammers, everybody. I need to buy more hammers. Okay, this world apparently has a shitload of hammers for sale. Let's just fucking buy 10, okay? There we go. We bought 10 hammers. I'm going to break some blocks. Okay, guys, I placed a shitload of sorcerer stones. Uh, it's time to get some points, okay? It's time to get some points. I want to get my guild to number one. I need to get that new guild weather machine, guys. That one is... I don't know what it looks like, but I think it's going to be cool. Anyways, these hammers seem to break pretty quickly. I already broke two so far. Let's just farm blocks until all my hammers are broken, okay? Okay, guys, all the hammers have been broken. Let's take a look how much I have. 22,000. How am I ever going to get to 10 million? You need... 10 million for the biggest. 10 million? This already costed me 30 world locks. Okay, let's do some quick calculations. Like 15 diamond locks or some shit. I have no idea. Anyways, right now I want to get one of those rewards. And, oh, wait, what the fuck is this? I haven't even seen this yet. There is so much new sh- <gasps> You can also buy soul stones here. This is the greatest update ever. Anyways, I wanted to say that I want to collect some rewards because let's take a look. I think this is a chest that you can open. Oh. 
5 castle stones and 22 summer tokens. The chest automatically opened already. That's weird, but okay. Uh, now I have tokens, so let's go to the clash rewards. Summer clash lasts 4 months, blah 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 blah. Note you can work on any active branch, blah 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 blah. Life branch. Spend summer tokens here for special rewards. How much does this cost? You need to collect all other rewards in branch before you can reveal this reward. Oh, I think I get it. Before you can buy one item, you first need to buy the item before that. So, if you want to buy the soul stone, you first need to buy this shirt. If you want to buy this thing, it looks like a safe, but I don't know. You first need to buy the soul stone and the shirt. If you want to buy this, you first need to buy the safe, the soul stone, the shirt, etc, etc. Before you can get to the big question mark and see what you'll get from that, you first need to unlock all the other items. This is such a cool update. Guys, we haven't even looked into the pineapple event. We haven't collected all the prizes yet from the Summer Clash. We haven't looked into the new item of the month yet. And there's probably way more that I haven't looked into. But I'm actually mind blown right now. And I've been recording already for like 50 minutes. So I'm going to end the episode here. Stay tuned for more future videos. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a big fat like. If I hit 5,000 likes on this video, I'll... I don't know. Just give me 5,000 likes please. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.